Bitcoin and Ether trade quietly, but lesser-known names boast strong performance this week. Origin Protocol and Kyber Network lead the way among altcoin gainers. Bitcoin lost ground in July, but was outpaced in July by 112 of 183 assets within the coin desk market indices universe. On a weekly look, lesser-known tokens OGN, KNC, and Aster were among those posting strong gains. With just three days remaining in July, Bitcoin BTC and Ether ETH are poised to finish in negative territory for the month. Over the most recent seven days, Bitcoin and Ether fall minus 1, 59% and minus 0. 81%, respectively, very much in line with what has been a range-bound trading environment for the entire month. Both of the cryptos have moved into neutral territory per their respective coin desk indices trend. Indicators, the gauges calculated daily, are designed to illustrate price direction and momentum strength using a series of moving averages. Broader moves across the entire digital asset landscape are captured within the Coindesk market indices CMI and all CMI sectors finished in the red this week, including the DeFi index DCF down 1, 24%. The weakest performer was the culture and entertainment index CNE off 3, 24%. The monthly picture is marginally more promising, with all CMI sectors finishing in the green with the exception of the currency index CCY down 0, 39% in July, in part thanks to Bitcoin's sizable weighting in the grouping. Of the 183 assets within CMI, 112, or 61% have outperformed Bitcoin in July. NFT platform Origin Protocol OGN rose 32% over the past week, while DeFi's Kyber Network KNC and smart contract platform Astar Aster added 23% and 22%, respectively. With each of these tokens boasting market caps below $300 million, they are apt to fall underneath the radar. Still, their sector alignment can provide insight into whether their performance was in line with similar assets. OGN's gain this week stands in contrast to the culture and entertainment. Index c &E, which was lower by 3, 1%. KNC's advance came alongside a 2 8% decline for the DeFi Index DCF, and Aster Rise outperformed the 1, 2% fall for the smart contract platform index SMT. Looking ahead to next week on the heels of this week's Federal Reserve interest rate increase and inflation data, next week's macroeconomic focus will center on jobs, in particular Friday's non-farm payrolls report for July. Less followed but also of interest will be Tuesday's job openings and labor market survey jolts. Current expectations are for 190,000 jobs to have been added in July and for job openings to have dipped to 9.5 million from 9.8 million.